Remember this? I did a first look review of this a few weeks back. It is the James Gurney style easel. This one is made by Taylor Seamat, and the time has come. The time has come for a field trial. That means let's go outside and paint. Hello minders and welcome back to the Mind of Watercolor. So yeah, we're gonna get out and paint and give this baby a try. And I just wanted to say a big thanks, both for myself and for Taylor Seamount. Many of you went over after my first look review and ordered this. And I was so proud of my viewers. I mean, I don't get anything for doing this. Uh, I just love being able to recommend good, well-made products. And Taylor Seamount was blown away by the number of you that came over. And she was very complimentary of the Mind of Watercolor community. She said you were a very nice, courteous bunch. And that just makes me proud. So. Uh, a big thank you from me, and by extension, a big thank you from her. So it's time to get out and try this thing. It really doesn't matter much what I paint. We're going to go to a local park here in Greer. I live in Greer, South Carolina, which is close to Greenville. But we have a local park that's really nice. I'll find something to paint. We don't have a lot of time this afternoon, so it'll have to be something quick. But I'm going to take the Hanamula 100% Cotton Sketchbook. I'm going to take my art tool kit. Now, normally I paint with this. Well, really, there is no normally. It's always something different. This is my mini palette that goes with the art tool kit. I have it in here, but I'm going to go back to my Sennelier. This was actually my very first plein air kit. So this is what I'll be painting from. And I'm bringing the gouache just in case. I don't know if I'll use it. That's Holbein gouache. But primarily, it's going to be the Sennelier palette. And I have a variety of travel brushes and, and pencils and stuff. But I think what I'm going to try, and this was in another video. This is a travel set that I was kind of impressed with for the price. So anyway, off to the park. Let's go do some painting. Yeah, well, this is Greer City Park. And it's a great little park. We love it. It's only about five minutes from our house. And they've just done a great job with it. I've actually done some uh, sort of fitness exercise walks around here. We've taken uh, grandkids here to play. I even did a couple of plein air sessions here. Oh, maybe five years ago. <laughs> so that's where I am today. Where I decided to set up was actually not in the park, but there is a small church cemetery right adjacent to the park. Just butts right up to the side of the park. So I decided to set up and paint here. And as I mentioned, we didn't have a lot of time. So I wanted a simple subject and I decided to paint this regal gentleman here. You know me and trees. And really the point was I just had to go out and try this easel. I know its effectiveness because of all the James Kearney videos that I've watched, I guess. So I had high expectations, and those expectations were not unmet. Well, I'm joined today by my wife and my grandson. My wife's helping me with the videography. And my grandson, well, he is doing nine-year-old boy things. <laughs> and this old boy is going to go do his thing. You know, sometimes, not sometimes, but a lot of times, the point of plein air is just to get out and experience the colors, the depth of field, the atmosphere with your own naked eyes and try to translate that into a drawing or a painting. And of course, secondarily, and you can never go wrong here, just being out in nature. 
It's fantastic, especially on a day like this. About 68 degrees, just excellent. Well, I have no complaints with the easel. It just uh, did exactly what I hoped it would do. My favorite thing about the easel are the recessed magnets that go all along the bottom plate. That will allow me to use a variety of different palettes. And as a sketchbook palette, because it will hold a fairly small uh, surface to paint on, you just can't beat it. All right, I'm back at the studio, and a lot of times when I get back, I'll I'll continue to work on it. I actually haven't done anything to this one, so this is just as I left the field. I may uh, take another look at it in the photo. I feel like I need to deepen some of the shadows in places, but you know, it's a nice little sketch from a nice little afternoon, and I love the easel. Absolutely love the easel. Thanks everyone for joining me on this little excursion, and here's another one you can watch. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.